Julie and I have talked endlessly about the morning show on mm -hmm. here. And I yeah. just, your take on last season and, you know, your relentless campaign to destroy John Hamm, who deserved it. <laughs> I just wanted, like, when you look back so on that fun. season, what, what are the things that you really remember or what was the most fun? I mean, to me... He's John Hamm, you know? I mean, I, I have loved him for so long. And that's certainly true for so many of these actors on this on the set. Me coming in to to and joining the morning show, um, I, I I felt like I had to ma manage my own sort of a personal, I just, I mean, can I say I was completely starstruck by my own co-stars, um, which is completely a, uh, inappropriate for the character that I was playing. Because right. Stella She's Bob literally does yeah. not no. give a hoot about any of these people. I mean, she really, she comes in, she comes in real hot. Um, and that is one of her defining characteristics. So I was constantly having to kind of notice and suppress these moments of like, oh my God, that's Jennifer Aniston. That's Jennifer <laughs> Aniston. You know, we're sharing a sandwich in between takes. Okay, that's good. And just constantly trying to wave those feelings away. But I got, I have to say that that job, that set is like a real actor's paradise. All of these people are so incredible with their level of skill, their stamina. And there's no sense of any sort of entitlement. Everyone has so much skin in the game, so much investment in the scene work. It's a it's a very kind of nerdy set in that way. You know, it's a lot of talking about acting and how to improve. And and John Hamm was certainly a part of that as well. You know, the guy really cares. And it's 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 amazing. When when you're sharing a sandwich with Jennifer Aniston, does she take more than her share? Does she, is she generous with the sandwich? What's going on? Extremely equitable. <laughs> okay, Extremely good. equitable. Yeah. <laughs> but I imagine sort of like coming from the set of the morning show, I imagine you're like waving to Wolfgang Puck, who's making everyone <laughs> breakfast that morning, and like black cars and extravagance to keep everyone happy. And then it's I like going to a true indie of past lives. Right. You know? Right, right, right. Jarring. So it's not quite Wolfgang Puck, but it is very nice. It's close. I, I, yeah. I cannot sit here and pretend <laughs> that it's not. I mean, look at Stella Box wardrobe. I'm constantly begging them, please make her wardrobe just a little less luxurious, and and I and I will just get paid more. I will take that, <laughs> and you can just pay, give it to me. They're like, we don't understand um, what that even means. This is just what she no, wears. Strict just, luxury. I mean, Right. She, you know, does she need guys seven pairs of Prada sneakers? Maybe she doesn't, you know, maybe. Um, no, but it is it is part of the joy of of like my career, I guess. This very wild ride that I've been in um, been on is getting to pivot, make these hardcore pivots from something like, yeah, Russian doll to past lives then to the morning show, I mean, they could not be more different. It's really like jumping out, off into like different galaxies. Um, I think for someone else that could be completely crazy making, but for me, that's somehow normal. Yeah, <laughs> I, but I can also it's imagine- so Those three things that were so, those three characters that you just mentioned- Very. On Russian so Doll, different. Past Lives, Morning Show, so different. I was going to say, like, yeah. I can imagine, like, Reese Witherspoon being like, okay, Greta, what are you going to produce? What are you doing with your career? Like, I could see them being, like, as glamorous as they are, like, they're like women's women and actors' actors and being like, okay, what do you do oh. next? I remember I was really nervous before Sundance because I'd never been to Sundance before. And I was in the middle of shooting a scene with Reese. And Reese gave me incredible advice. I was sort of like, I don't know what to do. I feel really nervous in this way that I can't describe. And she basically said, I mean, she gave me permission just to be honest. She was like, do you care about the movie? And I said, yes. Do you believe that it's good? Yes. And she, and she said, you know what? You've got this. <laughs> You've got this. Come And come back and report back. It's going to be great. Um, and so, I, yeah, I, I am so lucky that I had that, that kind of... Um, womanhood uh, surrounding me to support.